Hi, grade four. So for today's math, we're gonna keep going with fractions and what we're going to try to find is whether a fraction is closer to zero or closer to one. Because most fractions, the fractions that we're looking at are always gonna be less than one right now. But I wanna know, is it closer to zero or closer to one? And we've kind of talked about this before spring break. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about it right now. Um, so let's say I have the fraction 2 fifths. Is this closer to 0 or closer to 1? And how can I know? Well, one way that I can do this is to use a number line. right? So remember, a number line can be is like this. And this side would be, well, this side would be 0. This side would be 1, and this would be half, all right? That's a halfway. That's our benchmark. So we know if it's closer to 0, it'll be less than half. And if, it, if it's more than half, it's closer to 1, right? So we've got to find where 2 over 5 is. Well, what I can do here is I can use this number line as almost like a strip of paper, a one big long rectangle and I can split it into five sections okay let's do that five equal parts right remember we have five equal parts and we're gonna count two of them okay so we're gonna count one two so then this would be one fifth two fifth three fifths, four fifths, five fifths, right? So two fifths is on this side. It's gonna be about right here on our number line and it's less than half. That means that it's closer to zero, right? So two over five is closer to zero. Okay, let's look at another one. Let's look at a fraction like, let's try something like, what is 7 ninths closer to? Is it closer to 0 or is it closer to 1? Well, I can draw my number line here and draw my benchmark. My benchmarks are going is, is always 0, it's always half. And it's always one for this part, right? So I know that if it's on this side of half, it's gonna be closer to one. And if it's on this side of half, it's gonna be closer to zero. So I can use another marker and I'm gonna cut my line up into nine equal parts. Okay, so let's do that. Maybe I draw my long rectangle to help me at the bottom. Let's see if I can make nine equal parts here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. And I have seven of them. So this would be one, nine, two, nine. Three, nine, four, nine, five, ninth, six, ninth, seven, ninth, eight, ninth, nine, ninth, which is one. Okay, so my seven ninth is here. So it's definitely closer to one. Okay? Now, what if I'm trying to rank my fractions from greatest to least? So this is part of your homework and this will help you with that. So let's say I have these fractions. Let's say I have five, six, and I have um, one third, and then I have three fourths, and then I have seven eighths. What if I have that? How do I rank it from greatest to least? 
Well, I'm gonna once again use my number line to help me here, right? So here's my number line. Remember, you have zero, one, and you have half. Okay, I'm gonna use my red to show my five sticks and see where it is, okay? So I for five sticks, I know I need to make it into my number line into six equal parts, all right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this would be, this would be one six, this would be two six, this would be three six, which is same as half, four six, five six. So my five six is here. All right. Now I will draw out the same number line down below to show my one third. Let's see where my one third is. Zero one half. So for one third, how many? equal parts do I need? Well, I need three equal parts and I'm only counting one, okay? So I, um, I have one here, and about here. So from here to here, let's see, one third. This is where my one third is. Now it's really important that all your number lines are the same length, and you can see which one's greater, which is closer to one, and which one's least, closer to zero. So my one third is here. Let's go with, let's do another line here to show my three fourths. Again, this is my half. So let's see, three fourths. I need four equal parts on my number line, right? This is this is gonna show one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. So this is where my three fourths is. Right? It's just a little bit less than five six. Draw number another number line. Seven eighths. How many equal parts do I need? I know I need eight equal parts. So I need four equal parts on this side. Four equal parts over here. So this be one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths. Five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So this shows my seven eighths. So now I can see where my greatest to least is. My greatest is going to be seven eighths, which is greater than the next one, which is five sixths. Next greatest is three fourths, and the smallest is one third. Okay, this is my answer here. Give it a try. I would suggest you to use a number line to help you see which one is greatest and which one's least.